you know, just telling stories about my life and playing Dragon Quest. You know, there is something that did come good out of your high school. I know, but I'll get to it when I do. But, Zach knows. Right. So, where do I start back from the story? Uh, you gotta watch the other Dragon Quest videos to actually hear of this story, so... If you watch this, story, this video without knowing anything about it, go back to the other videos, okay? Fucking watch it in order, because this story is not going to make <coughs> sense if you don't fucking read it with the, the context, motherfucker. Anyways, from what I understood and what I understand, uh, when I heard... Back with the story. When I heard my first girlfriend, my ex, say her ex's name. I said, what a coincidence. She said, what? I knew that kid. And she's like, really? And I'm like, yeah, we went to school together. And I kept talking to her, like, do you miss him? And stuff like that. And I... And then it came to the point where, yeah, she did want to go back with him. I just fucking knew it. Like, I knew she wasn't enjoying my company. She kind of did for a short while, but then I started to realize she didn't really enjoy my company. So, I'm like, dude, I'm fine. Just go back with him. And I'm sure he fucking needs you. And she went back with him. And, well, I'm kind of glad I didn't go further with her relationship. I don't hate her. But her life came crumbling down before I fucking knew it. I'm like, oh, shit. Good fucking lord. I'm like, I don't fucking hate her, but... Dear fuck, I don't need that shit in my life. You get what I mean? But... Yeah, I did have a girlfriend at one point. I had two. Uh, that was the first one. The first one did end at Happy Note. Now, I'm glad to tell you about the second one. Oh, boy, where do I fucking begin? Oh, the second one. I... Don't hate her i never do if i don't even know if you guys officially broke up <laughs> that, you guys just stopped talking to each other that was the problem um it got so bad none of us just talked to each other because she didn't fucking respond i'll tell you how i got in a situation or relationship with her so it was my second year of high school and i already got through the one uh high school i was trying to find myself a girl because I wanted someone to talk to and lean on. That's what I was always constantly looking for. Someone that I can support. And it kind of got me thinking a lot about my life as of a whole and <laughs> what I came from. So I always go in a hallway trying to uh, talk to random girls in the hallway. But God damn it, story cutscene. I was getting to the good part. I'll fucking do the dialogue and continue my story. Horn reads that you're here, the snow guys, and you prove to bold and wise, you prove to be the chosen one, and lo, your honor word shall pass and shine. Prove you are the chosen line. You know you can do your stories without the fucking story cutscenes. This means we are present in the ch uh, chimes of the chosen. Florin holds the chimes of the chosen, and the loud the echo of the cave. Right. Uh... If there's no more talking, I can confidently tell about this story. Okay. Here we go. This story. So, I constantly had a room that I would always go to. You know, it was called Home Room, right? So I always talked to this girl. This girl ended up becoming my second girlfriend. Now, my second girlfriend was kind of known to be controversial throughout others within the school that knew her. And I'm like, well, why is she like that? And she was a little bit loopy. She did. She was quirky. But I don't know, dude. She could have been it, but I tried. I, I tried. I pitied her. I felt sorry because, you know, <coughs> I was the way I was. And. She just had bad days and never really wanted to be talked to. I knew she wanted to be seclusive and alone. And I felt like I was the only one giving in the relationship and talking more than her. So, I kind of felt like to the point where like, I can't fucking do this, man. Like, I want to hear more about her. I feel like it, it hurt. 
because I want to hear her story and her demons, and I want her to talk it out so she felt better, but she never fucking did. I don't hate her for it, but I wish she fucking told me. I could have fucking <laughs> gave her pointers, gave her my perspective, you know, kind of fucking helped her out, but I get she didn't want to fucking tell me because she didn't fucking trust me. And she... Uh, she was a person that read fan fiction and she kind of felt like or made it but she kind of felt like i didn't really give a shit about her fucking shit so that's kind of why she felt the same way too so we really kind of didn't click i really really try to get in the world of fan fiction i fucking can't it's too bizarre and weird for me dude thing that's similar to fan fiction but it's not really like it's in the process but we're trying to make it real but that story's for another time <laughs> when we actually get it to where it needs to be a comic i might just fucking put it on bro my brother might put it on you but regardless i just have a lot of ideas <coughs> but joe has a lot of ideas even though he's not going to the school, I can help him benefit from learning better English arts and fucking drawing, but that's none of my business. Yeah, I am in the school that can do that. <sighs> Regardless, I try to continuously date with this girl. I almost went on a date with her, but I'm like, no, let's go to your house. I have made the worst mistake. Now, what have I learned from this? Always go out. Never go to the girl's house first. Always go out. Always. No matter what. Because then if you go to the girl's house, you're considered a friend. That's when you instantly hit the fucking friend zone. You need to go to other places. So you can get the girl, pique the girl's interest. I've learned this the fucking hard way. <laughs> Believe me, my boys and girls. I fucking learned a hard lesson from that day. Always go out. Never, never... If you're not for, never fucking go to the goddamn fucking house. If you fucking... You want to explain why? Oh, my God. <laughs> um, we turns out we had a lot of interests with it. Uh, not interest with each other, but... She just had a lot of interests that I was not personally into. Mm -hmm. I think that might have been the fucking issue. <laughs> In reality... And that might have been why we never clicked. Personally. And we were just fucking young, dude. But that's besides it. I'm not blaming myself for any of those situations. But your phone? The that, phone. That's our sisters. And she's still asleep. No, she's, no, I think that's mom. no, that's hers. I know that ringtone. No, that's hers. She's not gonna answer it because she's fucking knocked out. No, she's awake. Who? I heard her playing shit in her room. Yeah, but she's probably going to bed now. She stays up. No, she went to bed last night. She has fucking insomnia. You fucking know this. No, she went to bed last night, dude. Okay. She's up now. But, moral of the story, it got into bad into a situation where it just got really bad and sour. It didn't get sour, but we tried to talk and talk, but we never could. And it got to the point where she was about to leave. And I was in my junior year when I met her. I believe. Give me a minute. No, I was a sophomore. She was a, ju she, was a ju she was a senior. So, um, it got to a situation where I couldn't be able to talk to her a lot. And, um, no, I, I, was, I was a fucking junior. Fucking stupid. Fuck. I was a junior. Alright, um, it got so bad the situation where I fucking couldn't talk to her and she couldn't talk to me. And we got so fucking apart and she was always so goddamn busy. I always try to call her and she never called back. And when she did, I never fucking called back. It got so bad. Um, we just stopped talking to each other and I haven't fucking seen her since. So, she assumes and I assume that we fucking broke up secretly. So... That's the tale of my second ex. We didn't even fucking break up. It was just a bunch of miscommunication, but if she's out there, then I'm sincerely sorry. 
I hope you find a guy that can talk to you more and hopefully open you up and hopefully take care of you because I certainly wasn't the guy to be able to do that for you. And I apologize for that. But moral of the story that I've learned, spend time with the person before you really go far into that details, as I've learned now. And hopefully we'll continue with <coughs> the story. So that is my story on love triangles, love squares, and especially love. And every single time I see one of these, now you know why I go, oh, or ugh. Because of my own personal experiences with love and my friend's personal experiences with love. It's just never fucking happy, dude. Love triangles are never good. No, they're not. They're toxic as fuck. Oh, fuck yeah. And I know. I've never been in one, but... I've been in a situation where my friend was, and I told this story, so I hope you guys enjoyed that story. Next time, I'll actually talk dialogue, but again, comment down below if you really want to hear more of these stories of mine, because I got a plenty, I got plenty of stories to tell. It might be repeated, but I keep repeating some of the same stories, because there's more people coming in this channel. So, again, check out my stuff if you really want to hear all the stories. And all this stuff about me, you can go right ahead. I have no problem. But the thing is, what I do is that I don't say names. I say names of places. I don't say names of people. That's my condition. So I really hope you guys enjoy this video. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Check out my other stuff. Please check out Brawl Hall. No, no, Brawl Out. Please just watch Brawl Out. I feel bad that there's a lot, lot of low views in the playlist. And I certainly need to work hard for you guys, because you guys are fucking picky as hell. So I'll work harder to make sure you guys fucking watch the videos. Trust me, I'll make them more entertaining for you all. I will. I, that's a promise. So I can know something he has to do that From didn't do. <laughs> me to you. Which means, bro, we can't play any of your fucking choices for the next few months. That's fine. It's my choices. That's, that's fine. That's fine. And usually what I choose is usually what people fucking like. Yeah, usually. So. Usually. Alright, see you guys later.